I understand that one thing um, she told me this the overall topic is GIS uniting the world. So obviously one of the big symbols of world uniting is, is the Olympics and, and mapping with the Olympics around the world. <clears throat> what do the Olympic uh, rings signify? Um, the different the different countries and coming together as one. Five major regions, Africa, Ocean, Asia, Europe, and the Americas. Africa, um, obviously is a continent somewhere in the world. <laughs> um, uh, in English, we would say welcome, in African, welcome, and so on. Uh, Afri was a Latin name used to uh, talk about food. <laughs> now, now, food is a great thing that brings people together also. We all, all of our families come together and join, and sometimes we need maps and GIS to bring us together to, to enjoy those meals at various restaurants around the world. Um, and oftentimes when we bring our family together, we have competition and sports. And, and of course, sporting events around the world are, are, are great things. They, they keep us entertained and they bring us together. Of course, um, Oceana, this term was coined in 1812 by a geographer named Conrad Malte Byrne. The word oce ocean derives from the Greek word uh, whatever that we call it, <laughs> which brings us around to oceanic food. Now, um, obviously, this looks, well, I don't know about tasty, but it's, it's different than what I would normally choose on, off the menu. If you notice, one of the great things is, is egg mite. If you've never tried egg mite, I recommend you look it up on the internet and let me know what the heck it is. Um, <clears throat> oceanic sports, one of my favorite, surfing. Uh, of course, you need GIS to, to find the greatest surf spots, the different points around the world. Uh, you know, for example, um, did I do that? Did I just jump away? <laughs> Speaking of uh, surfing, Asia comes to mind when I think of surfing. Um, and, and I'd like y'all to help me pronounce this word here. Thank you. <laughs> Asia, Asia, Asia Foods. Um, Lee Singh, could you help me out here? <laughs> um, Sushi, of course, comes to mind, and where do we get sushi? From the ocean, our previous discussion on oceanic things, and moving right along in the sports. Asian, Asian sports, of course, Asia dominates our gymnastics world, and, uh, and they've come a long way in soccer, and these other things with sticks in them. <laughs> Europe, European welcome, in Spanish, in, in Benito, Portuguese about the same. Um, anyway, welcome. The name Europa was uncertain. Okay. Euro European food. Some things I'm a little more familiar with. Um, back to oceanic foods. My favorite. Seafood. And of course with GIS, we, we, uh, different captains, if you notice, they, they use their maps in, in the cabins and they have to have them to track weather and, and sporting events. <laughs> And where would you be in a bullfight without GIS? That's what I want to know. Okay? Um, of course, if you're going to ice skate around the Americas, you'd want to know where you're going to. Ah, the New World. I think we're all familiar with these, these continents here, uh, North and South America. Um, beautiful shape, by the way. And, and of course, our foods. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything that has anything to do with the ocean. I was really hoping for some more lobster. seafood here. Lobster. lobster, I don't see it. Okay. Is that lobster? It looks like ribs to me. Okay. Now, I'm feeling about like this guy right here right now. Solid punch to the face. Notice the expression of pain and agony. Um, and this guy here flying through the air and not knowing where he's going to land. Of course, if he used GIS, he would know where he was and therefore where he was landing. So GIS brings regions together, uniting the world, and each region has its own traditions, cultures, cuisine, and language. Each region has its own use of GIS to support development and decision making. Each of us comes from different backgrounds, but we all use GIS within this room. It's not the only, GIS is not only technology, GIS is the people who use it, like all of you lovely people here today. And we are so glad that you all came out to join us and to uh, make Laugh at me. <laughs> so I thank you all for putting up with my well-prepared speech here today, and maybe we'll do it again sometime. Thank you. <laughs>